I want to tell you about getting lucky in Puerto Rico. <laughs> if that's happened to you before or what? <laughs> I travel a lot on business, but usually it's in the States. I go to Minneapolis a lot. I go to Chicago. I go to New York. I go to D.C. But I had a client who wanted me to come visit them in, in Puerto Rico. And I really didn't want to do it. They were going to leave us, and they weren't really a moneymaker anyway. So I kept having excuses not to go, not to go. And finally, she called me up. She said, look, I'm paying for your airfare and hotel. Come. And I was shamed to say, no, no, I was going to come down anyway. So I booked a flight down there, not a trip I was looking forward to, because I was going to say no to everything she wanted. I'd never been to Puerto Rico before. I didn't get in until night, and she told me this, what hotel to stay at so she could pick me up in the morning, give me a tour of old San Juan, and then get me to the offices. And she said, oh, there's a casino in the hotel, too. And I'm not much of a gambler, because I'm really cheap. But I didn't want to be on this trip. I said, all right, I don't usually do this. I'm going to bring $100, and I'm going to have fun, right? So I checked in the hotel. It's nighttime. I couldn't see anything around me when I got there. I didn't see Puerto Rico at all, really. And I go downstairs and I get $80 worth of chips and I start playing blackjack. And I lose all that money in 15 minutes tops. I was not good at all, right? So I'm thinking, this is not really fun. Why do I give other people my money? And I take the last $20 bill and I just get quarters for the slot machines. I know how to do that, right? And I'm walking from machine to machine. And after, I don't know, an hour or so, I had won $120. I won all my money back. I said, good, I'm going to bed. So I cashed it in, I go upstairs. First night in a hotel on business, I never sleep, right? So I tossed and turned for a while. And then I uh, said, you know what? I'm just going to take that $20 bill again and go down one more time. <laughs> so I leave the rest of the money upstairs, go down, get quarters, start playing the slots. Lo and behold, a while later, I had another $100. So I'm cashing this in. I'm going to bed. This time I'm done. So I go back upstairs, and I'm tossing, I'm turning, and I'm still not sleeping. I said, I'm not doing it. So I go sit on the patio out back, listen to the surf, and I'm doing a little work. I said, all right, I'm just going to take that $20 bill <laughs> one more time. The rest of it's staying up here. Now I can't lose money at all, right? So I go downstairs, and I cash it in for quarters, and I go to the first machine, put four quarters in, pull it, and I win $250 on my first pull. It was 1,000 quarters. And I, I said, oh, I'm getting out of here now, right? So I go and cash it all in. I turn around, and there's this very nice lady offering to exchange this money for certain favors that range anywhere from $50 to all $250. I just won, right? <laughs> and I didn't want to get lucky that way. So I left as quickly as I could, and I locked the door in my hotel. And I knew I wasn't going downstairs again after that. And I went to what was a bad and, and little bit surreal business meeting. So I, I, this lady shows me old San Juan. It's beautiful. Takes me to the offices. And there's six people in the conference room. And I walk in. And I should have told you this. It's a tobacco company, right? And I don't smoke. And I walked in. And she said, have a pack of cigarettes. And she holds me a tray with all different brands that they sell. And I said, no, thank you. And we sit down. And we start talking. And I keep saying no to the questions they're asking me. And every 15 minutes, they would say, would you like a cigarette? No, thank you. Right? I, keep say, I have to say no over and over again. And I keep saying no to the, the work they're asking me to do for them. And then when I'm leaving, they said, thank you for coming. We got you a present. And they had me a big golf umbrella. And I needed a new umbrella. I'm like, this is cool. I'm lucky, right? So I take it with me. And I'm going to have to carry it in on the airplane because it doesn't fold. But it looks like a nice umbrella. And I've got a couple of hours. So I go back to the hotel. And I'm sitting by the beach drinking a couple drinks. And this is great, right? I don't go into the casino again. I, I knew I wouldn't do that. Um, and then I get home. And I throw the umbrella in my trunk. And I sit down to dinner that night, and my son was sitting there. He was probably six at the time. He said, Dad, I think I'm going to give all my money to poor people. And I said, Aiden, that's really nice. I'm going to give a $400 on top of it. And my wife said, you're going to what? <laughs> I said, don't worry. It's free money. <laughs> right? So whatever he donated, I put 400 on top. Somewhere, the Little Sisters of the Poor in Wilmington had a big party that night yeah. because they got a lot of money all at once. Um, but the first time I tried to use an umbrella, I was out at a golf, uh, a soccer game for my son and all these other six-year-old kids. And it starts raining, and I go to the trunk, and I pull it out, and I open it up. Tobacco products advertised all over it. I didn't feel as lucky anymore. I got wet that day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.